Hello, we're going to look at inverted intervals. The question always from students is, why would you invert? I think you invert when you don't like the lower note. Perfect intervals stay perfect when you invert. Majors become minor and augmented become diminished. There's three steps in the process to take. So if we took an interval that has F sharp to D. First of all, I don't like it, so I'm going to invert it. So step one, we don't like the lower note. The second step is to invert it. So take the top note and put it down the bottom. Step two is to work on the inversion. Whatever that answer is, we need to invert it back for step three. So the first thing that I can do is count on this side. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I know that the final answer is going to be a sixth. If I work on this side as well, one, two, three, I know that this is going to be a third. When you do inverted intervals, they always add up to nine. So six plus three is nine. I'm now going to do the work on this side here. So first of all, I'm going to count. I kind of see this a third. I know that the key of the lower note is D major. I'm going to write out the scale of D major. And then I'm going to draw a line to see what a major third would be in the key of D major. In this case, I can see it's definitely a major third because F sharp is in the scale of D major. So I'm going to write major third here. Last step we need to do is invert back. Majors become minor. So now I can write minor on this side. And there's the answer. I don't need to do any work on the left-hand side. All the work's done on the right-hand side. 